Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kurt and we are back for APA Season 5, week number 5. This week we are taking on 6 Foot Hacks, aka Leo, coach of the Durham Dragons, who, sexy ass logo by the way, look at that new logo, that's sexy as hell. Uh, this is our first week with the new draft, our old Celestela, Skolopita, Lolan, Persian, Talon, Flame, Flygon, that squad is gone for now. Uh, and we are rocking out with a new squad. I meant to do draft analysis, but then I got busy and I didn't. So, fuck draft analysis. Uh, you can see my team on the left there. We have Mega Gallade, Clefable, Skarmory, uh, Alolan Muck, Drudagon, uh, Raikou, Aselgor, Gyarados, Darmanitan, Piloswine, and Gorgeist, which is all forms Gorgeist. So, really hype squad. Uh, I'm actually really excited to use this. I built and I was like, this team is really fun. I like this. You know, if I had to just use this team going forward, I would be fine with this. Uh, so yeah, really excited to try out this new team. And we are three and one. We came off that killer win against Tar Heel. Super hype win. Uh, really big confidence booster going into this second quarter or this, um, second phase of the, uh, season. Our schedule for the second phase is not so nice as our first, our first one. Uh, we start our phase off with week 5 against Leo, week 6 we take on Envy, week 7 we take on my boy John Jr, and then week 8 we play in Vivid Color. So definitely some threats ahead of us, so if we can pick up a nice dub against Leo and move on to 4-1, and one, that'll be real nice. Leo on the other hand isn't having too hot of a season, he is 1-3 right now. Uh, but Leo's a fantastic battler, so I can't underestimate Leo just because he's 1-3. Luck has really not gone his way this season. He he got bullied against Gator. He got some low rolls against Tyler. He's just been getting bullied, so... Uh, he's got a new squad, so I think he's ready for some vengeance. And his team is actually kind of scary. It looks weird on paper, but uh, Leo's kind of playing 3D chess here. So you see that first pick in Halucha? Well, that's because Leo's thinking long term. Leo's thinking, I got Coco in the first draft, so I'm going to get Lucia in the second draft, so then I got Coco Lucia for free in playoffs. And shit, he done did it. So, man, round one, Lucia, uh, without a Bulu or a Feeny or anything, to really just let it do uh, Halucha things. He's also got Weavile, Nidoqueen, Metagross, Alola Mola, Shaman, um, Noivern, Tauros, Blaziken, Porygon Z, and Mega Gardevoir. He actually has a lot of uh, mons from the first phase that we noticed. We had uh, we have Nidoqueen that we had that uh, Ben had, and we faced in week four. There's the Metagross that Geo had in week one. There's the Alola Mola that Mighticus had in week three. Week two we played Nate. I don't think he has any of Nate's mons. Um, he doesn't have any of Nate's mons, but he does have our old teammate in Porygon Z as well, who fucking carried. I love PZ, that mom is so great. So, now for the hype intro, let's uh, get into my team for Leo. So, shout out the boys, and I want you to know, past few weeks, it's been like Nathan and Scott a little bit, and Ray helped me last week against Ben. This week, the whole gang showed up. We got Steven, Scott, Nathan, Austin, everybody showed up. Everybody put in work for this team. So a uh, huge shout out to the boys. My boys in the front office are always linked down in the description. Um, I really do appreciate the help because I'm, I always build and I'm like, you know, it's a pretty good team. And then Nathan will notice that I'm running like fucking modest Darmanitan because I'm an idiot. And I'm like, oh shit, thank you. So really appreciate the boys helping me out this week. Really gave me some heat ideas for sets. So let me run down the sweetie sweetie team. First te first mon that a lot of us agreed on is Life Orb Old Man, our Clefable. <laughs> Shout out to the Old Man Panther. Um, we got Modest, uh, Life Orb, uh, Clefable. If I edited that clip in, by the way, I'm going to die. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, we got Moonblast, Shadow Ball, Psychic, and Soft Boiled. Um, look at Clefable's moveset and then look at Leo's team. Yeah. Um, the only thing that really wants to take hits from this thing is the Alamomola, which if we recall mind we could set up on, but move slot syndrome because I really wanted softball to keep uh, just Clef healthy to take hits from Weavile, Halucha, stuff like that. Moonblast is just going to murder his team, Shadow Ball is for the Metagross, Psychic is for the Nidoqueen, uh, softball just take hits from like Guard, PZ, Weavile, and uh, stay healthy. We have enough speed to creep 24 speed Nidoqueen. Um, Hold on, let me grab the notes here, because I was just looking at them. One minute. Because I have, I wrote down better notes when explaining this team. Uh, Seeker Prep House. There it is. Uh, Clefable has enough speed to outspeed 24 speed Nidoqueen. Queen. They'll be through the rest in special attack, and then we threw some HP investments here and there. And uh, nothing really special to note on Clefable other than the speed. Next up, we got Silver Skarm, our Skarmory. 
with uh, Iron Head, Roost, Spiked, and Whirlwind. This was uh, named after the boy Scott, uh, who also came up with the idea for the set. Basically, Leo's hazard removal is a doo-doo butter. He's got Halucha, Noivern, Blaziken as his defoggers. That's it. So he's like, you set up spikes and rocks, and you just keep clicking Whirlwind and get free chip. Weavile's not going to appreciate the spikes chip. He's going to die instantly, especially if he's Life Orb. Chipping down Nidoqueen is going to be huge. Uh, denying good regen on Allo is going to be important, and just overall chip on his team with the spikes is going to be super good. The only thing not grounded on his team is Noivern and Halucha. Other than that, everything's grounded, everything's taking spikes damage. Uh, this Skarm also checks the Metagross and the Weavile. Uh, if he's uh, banded Weavile, it's going to hurt, but then we can roost up. And really, it's being an overall annoyance to his team. Uh, we have enough, let's see, we have enough Spadef and HP to not be 3 hit KO'd from. Um, Hyper Voice from Mega Guard after Rocks. We have um, enough speed to creep a min speed Metagrost, and in case I need to roost on a T Punch. And then we threw the rest in defense. Um, and then Iron Head is there to hit uh, Weavile. And Guard, in case I don't want to whirlwind them out, I just want to finish them off. So, yeah. Um, next up, we got the boy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. The, the pillow is fine. Oh, jeez. The pillow is fine from Minnesota. Uh, this is Adamant, Thick Fat, Eviolite, Pillow Spine from Minnesota. With Ice Cold Crash, Earthquake, Stealth Rock, and Toxic. If you guys get that reference, by the way, shout out to you. You're a G. Um, this is really just Spadef Nido or uh, Spadef Pillow Swine to check uh, Offensive Nido Queen, because Offensive Nido Queen kind of kind of fucks my butt, kind of puts things in my butt, and it's not fun. So we got Spadef Pillow Swine to really stop that from doing things. Um, if he's like Z Nido, Austin brought up like maybe Z um, Sludge Wave or Z Earth Power. If he's Z, he's not doing that much damage. So we take Z. We're obviously going to get Body Bag, but we take Z if he's Z instead of Life Orb. Uh, Ice Cold Crash, Earthquake, Stealth Rock, and Toxic. One at Ice Shard, but I feel like Ice Cold Crash is going to be nicer to hit like um, a Predicting a Shaman, hit, hitting Noivern. Just, I don't know. I feel like Ice Cold Crash is going to be better in the long run. Might regret it. Earthquake is be uh, really spammable against his team. Stealth Rocks are really nice for the Weavile, the Blaziken, the... Halucha, the Noivern, etc, etc, and Toxic is for the Alamomola, which is probably the most obvious switch into Pillow Swine in the world to get free wishes. Next up, we got the boy John Jr. that started our Mana 10 with Jolly Sheer Force, Choice Scarf with Flare Blitz, Fire Punch, Rock Slide, and U-Turn. Look at his Fire Resist! It's Alo. We get a we get a U-turn for free. Once Alo is dead, or if he doesn't bring it, show me his Flare Blitz switching. Show me his Flare Blitz switching. Noivern, not a real Pokemon. Noivern is not a real Pokemon. Uh, Blaziken, Fizz Death Blaziken is not a real thing. So basically, Darmanitan Darmanitan gets a kill once Alola Mola dies. So that's the plan with Darm. We can also revenge stuff like Weavile, Scarf Needle Queen, um, Scarf Blaziken, Mega Guard of War getting out of hand, stuff like that. We can't outspeed, plus do Halucha, unfortunately. But uh, you do what you do. It actually gets really close. It gets really close, but we just barely miss out. Next up, we got That's Toxic, our Alola Muck. With Adamant, Poison Touch, Assault Fest, with Poison Jab, Knock Off, Pursuit, and Facade. Um, we got Poison Jab for the Mega Guard of War. We got Knock Off to get rid of items. We got Pursuit, Pursuit Trap, Mega Guard, and the Metagross. Then we have Facade, because I really feel like that Guard of War is going to run Will O Wisp to kind of just like meme on my muck. So he's going to be like, I'm going to go for Will O Wisp and Bird Muck. And while Muck is kind of ruined at that point, I can at least hit him with a facade and be like, aha, facade, hello. And then at least burnt, I can still hit Alola Mole for some nice damage. Uh, the EVs on this muck, we have enough to not be 3 hit KO'd from guard. Uh, Hyper Voice after rocks, we have enough to not be, we are 3 hit KO'd by Life Warp, Earth Power, Shaman uh, after rocks. And then we are creeping a min speed Alo. This is the fastest buck you will ever goddamn see. And then we have the rest intact to, uh, you know, do muck things. And last but not least, we got Delray, my boy. Delray the Cell Goer. With um, Timid, Sticky Hold, with Life Orb, with Bug Buzz, U-Turn, Hidden Power, Ground, and Giga Drain. Basically, I get to play Bug Stab against his team every time this thing comes in, because his bug resists aren't great. Uh, Nido Queen's going to take Chip every time. That's the whole plan with um, Rocks and Spikes, is to really chip down Nido Queen so it can't really switch into a Selgore anymore. And once a Selgore, uh, or once Nido Queen's gone, it's just like Darmanitan. A Selgore kind of just gets to click buttons and really do a lot of damage. Giga Drain does a hefty amount to Alola Mola. I was considering Energy Ball just to do more damage. But at least Giga Drain allows me to get some health back, and um, if, if he's running Knock on Allo, I'm not too concerned because I have Sticky Hold and get to keep a Life Warp, and then I get some HP back. So that's the team we're rocking out against Leo. Uh, Leo definitely is a scary team, and I definitely feel like I've underprepped for maybe Noivern and Blaziken. But um, I think we can do it. I think we can take. I think we can take this one. So I'm gonna go get connected with Leo, and I will be right back. 
All right, we are back and connected with Leo. Uh, I am super hyped for this battle. If you guys couldn't tell, I'm a very hype and excited boy because one, I'm home alone. Two, I'm on two hours of sleep. And three, the only thing I've really eaten today is a rock star. So your boy is low-key going crazy and it's okay. We're about to play Leo and then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna play Leo because breaking the fourth wall, we're playing on Friday, the day before this goes up. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna edit this and I'm gonna take the fattest nap so, your boy is hype more so for the nap than I am for the battle, but your boy is still hype for the battle! <laughs> uh, very, very much excite. Uh, Leo's team is definitely scary. I actually couldn't decide on the 6th month. 7th month for me, I'm going to say is... I'm going to say Blaziken is 7th month for me. But, I don't know. His team is really weird to predict. He brought the fucking Tauros. Son of a bitch. Tauros was that Mon. I had a feeling he might bring, but I didn't want to see it at all. I did not want to see Tauros one bit. No Weavile, no Halucha, no Gardevoir, no Shaman. Uh, so a lot of things he did not bring. Uh, no Weavile. Instead, he brought the fucking Tauros. Which, like, he brought against me last time we played Leo in APA Season 3, and it fucked me up. So, maybe that's just a meme. He brought Noivern instead of Shaman. Noivern instead of Shaman. Yo, he didn't bring any of his shit. Yo, Noivern, why are you so large? Uh, Nido Queen, yes. Alo, yes. Metagross, no Gardevoir. And Thiddy Prop BZ. Ah! Hate seeing PZ on the other side of that field, man. PZ was my boy! He's on our team! Alright, um, Darm is really free to lead. Darm is a really free lead. Yeah, Darm's free lead. It's not hard to predict that a Darmanitan is probably going to be Scarfed. He's probably leading with Nido Queen or something like that. I'm just going to click U-turn, turn one. If he gets rocks up on me, that, like, it's annoying, but it's okay. Go look fun to Leo, make sure you guys go check him out. I am Noirdivus. Um, his hazard removal is Noivern. His hazard removal is Noivern. Or I just we just set up hazards and just whirlwind. Honestly, he doesn't have great ways of breaking Skarm outside of uh, Tauros, Fire Blast, and Noivern. Um, Flamethrower. Hello! Hello! <laughs> Hello, Hello, la Mola! Ah, mention! So we can find out if you were lefties or Rocky Helmet. We can find out what you want to do. Um, I can just go into Skarmory on this. Or I can go into Clefable. How much does Clefable do to Alomobola? Defensive Alomobola versus Clefable. Moonblast does so much damage. My god! My god! I can just go into Skarm also though. And I just get Hazards up. I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna U-turn into my Skarm and get Hazards up. If he's default like Noivern, what can I say? Well played. So that's it. He's Rocky Helmet Alobomola. Okay. Alobomola. He has Rocky Helmet. Rocky Helmet. He's probably just clicking Scald. I'm just going to go into my Skarm. Set up some hazards. Have a good time. He's going to go for Scald. That's cool with me. Scald. He gets a crit. Turn one. Crit. Hey. Uh, Skarm time! Skarm time! Spikes time! Spikes time! Spikies! Yoink! Spikes time! He is going to scale again. You do you. Ow, that did nothing. And he gets the burn. Unfortunate. Uh, we can go one more without... Uh, but roosting is nice here. Roosting keeps us nice and healthy. What does he go into here? He might go into like Metagross or PZ or Tauros, honestly. Yo, how do I switch into Tauros? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Fucking hate this Tauros. <laughs> I can never switch into Tauros. <laughs> how well does Pillow Swine take out a Tauros? Pillow Swine. Oh, jeez. Shit. Pillow Swine. Oh, jeez. Versus Tauros. That's, how, that's what I'm saying about this Tauros. Oh, jeez. Um, I mean, we eat anything. Body Slime is going to hurt, but we take two. I'm going to set up another spike. 
he's just gonna, we're just gonna chill here. We're just gonna have a good time. We're just gonna have a good old time. He's gonna wish. So he's just gonna wish and pass into whatever he wants. That's cool with me. Uh, here I roost. Here I definitely roost. Do I roost? Or do I whirlwind? Or do I do I roost or do I whirlwind? I'm gonna roost here, I think. Just so I have some good health against Metagross. If he does want to bring that in. He's gonna withdraw. And he's gonna go into Nate. Who is Nate? The Tauros? Noivern. Okay. He's gonna frisk my leftovers. Does he have Defrog? Does he have Defrog? If he's Defrog on Noivern, that's definitely annoying. That's definitely annoying. There, there's no stopping that. Um, how well does Clefable switch into this thing? I would assume somewhat well. I would assume it takes like, you know, a lot from Hurricane. <sighs> God damn it! I think I have to go Pillow Swine here. I think I have to go Pillow Swine. Actually, Pillow Swine works because then I can just talk next turn because he's not going to take the Eskel Crash. He's going to go back into Hollow where Metagross. I'm just going to go hard into my Pillow Swine. I take any hit with my um, with my OGs. What oh, geez. What oh, geez. He has Defog. Okay, so he's rocking the Defog Noivern. So he's rocking the Defog on the Noivern. So that's unfortunate. Um, so like, I Toxic here. I just Toxic here. <laughs> there, there's no reason to even think about this play. Like, what does he switch in Icicle Crash? He doesn't have great switch in Icicle Crash. <laughs> and if he sacks this, his Defogger's gone. So Skyrim comes in and does things anyways. <laughs> so like, yeah. Yeah, oh jeez here. He's gonna withdraw. Go back in Hollow. Go back in Hollow. Brett. Top 1%. Bleep Bloop. That's my boy Bleep Bloop. Okay, Bleep Bloop is toxic. We have toxic the Bleep Bloop. We have successfully toxic the Bleep Bloop. Um, I could go into Muck here. I could go into Muck. And the reason I would say Muck is because Muck doesn't have a whole lot of purpose this game. Outside of Metagross. But, like, there's nothing that PZ, PZ can really do to me. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna withdraw, I don't wanna take damage. I'm just gonna go into that's toxic by muck. And I'm just gonna click knockoff next turn. He doesn't have a mega. That's toxic! He's gonna nasty plot. Okay, so let's see. If he is Z try attack. Z try attack. That actually one shots my muck. He actually one taps my muck if he is. Okay, let's think about it like this. If he is Z on. If he is Z. Or was he left? Did, did he lefties? Did he just lefties? I could have sworn he just got lefties. Okay, let's say I'm not crazy and he is leftovers. He can't. He does like half to me. Yeah, he does like half. And then a knockoff does nice damage. Yeah, knockoff does nice damage. Actually, poison dab does more anyways. If he is Z, he's gonna kill me here. And then I revenge this with what? How much does my Asagor do? Not enough. So I think I have to revenge with Darm. I'm gonna click poison jab. He's gonna try attack. Yeah, so he's, he was leftovers. I'm not crazy. That's gonna do a hefty chunk. We're gonna get we're gonna get a poison jab off. This is gonna do nice damage. That did less than it should have. That definitely did less than it should have. But we get hefty chunk on this Porygon. Like, Muck doesn't do a whole lot for me other than kinda just stopping this from doing what it's doing right now. With this with this out of the way, er, with this being low, I can go into a Selgor. Do I kill with HP Ground from here? No, but I do kill with U-Turn. 
Yeah, I do kill with U-turn from here. So, I can just get a free U-turn off if he wants to... Well, I could just Bug Buzz also. <laughs> well, no, I can U-turn. And I can go into whatever I please. I can go to Old Man, see what he wants to deal with. He goes Need a Queen on that. So that I get to bring in OGs again. And then OGs gets to click Toxic again. Or click click Earthquake. Yeah. I'm gonna click knockoff here in case he switches for some reason. He's gonna kill heal me off. Yeah, that's fine. Um Porygon. Porygon Z kills Alola Muck with Try Attack. Um he has Tauros, Porygon Z, Noivern, um fucking Alo Mamola. Nido Queen and Metagross. So my a, a muck goes down. But I can just go into a Sogre here and click U turn and pick him off. And the reason I want to click U turn is because I don't want him to go into Noivern here. I can just U turn. If he wants to preserve Porygon for Death Water, I get initiative. Yeah, I'm going to go into a Sogre. And I'm just going to click U-turn. It's free. Yeah, it's free. He, I go into... If I'm going to Pillow Swine, he probably goes into Metagross. What do I U-turn into? I U-turn into... I U-turn Inical Fable. Oh, but if he goes into Darm, or if he goes into Metagross, that's an issue. He definitely has Flamethrower on that Noi Ring. That's a fact. Do I just U-turn into my Darm? Force him into Olo? I don't hate that. I could also just go hard in a pile of swine. Yeah, I don't hate going hard pile of swine either, actually. Because that'll force him into Metagross or Aloe. Going hard Skarm will force in Noivern. Clef will force in Nido Queen or Metagross. Probably Metagross. Darm will force in Aloe. I'm going to U-turn into... Ah. Or do I want a Bug Buzz? No, because Noivern comes in, and I don't switch well into Noivern. Well... I'm going to U-turn. Yeah. He's going to withdraw. Oh, he's going to preserve the Porygon. Going back into Brett. This would have taken a lot from Bug Buzz. That did literally the same amount. <laughs> uh, chip. Okay, so now I can go either into my Clefable or into my Skarm. Kind of want to go into Clefable. Start putting pressure on his team. Kind of just want to go into Skarm and click Spikes, though. Or Iron Head. Ugh. Bug Buzz would have done so much there. Yeah. I'm gonna go into Old Man. And I'm just gonna take Moonblast. He's probably gonna set up a Wish and pass it. Or try and pass it at least. I'm just gonna click Moonblast. He's gonna withdraw. Go hard, Metagross. Nia, Nia Jax. That's that ninja for some reason. Moonblast. Hiya! Look at that chip. That did 25%. And we get the attack drop. Okay. 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 Clef Fable. Old man versus Nido Queen. If he's defensive rocks. I really want to psychic this thing, if I'm being honest. Sludge Wave won't do much to me. If he's offensive with Life Orb. I still take one. I can heal up on Alo. I'm going to go for Psychic here. I'm going to go for Psychic. I outspeed, so the speed creep worked. He's Payapa. So we get rid of his Payapa. So he's not Life Orb. And he's probably setting him rocks. Yeah, he set up rocks. Nice. So he knows we're really fast offensive cliff. 
That's cool. Nita Queen is very chip now. I'm gonna force him to defog with Skarm later, so that works for me. Um So P's That Psychic did 25 through Payapa. So that actually means he has some Spadef investment. Or a lot of Spadef investment. Yeah, because he was at 70. Yeah, so did it. Yeah, so that did a little bit about Spadef or Mixed Def. So he doesn't have a whole lot, if any, offense investment. I really want to double into Skarm to A, stop Metagross, and B, kind of just sit in front of this thing. So I'm going to pull the double into my Skarm. Expecting either Metagross or just this thing to do something. Yeah, like, I'm going to force his Noivern to defog. That's the plan right now. Because I don't want rocks on my side. That's mean. If he wants to keep spikes and hazards on his side, I will gladly keep rocks on my side because Michael Table is magic card. I will gladly keep rocks on my side of the field to get my hazards on his side of the field. And if he wants to defog his rocks away, that's perfectly fine with me. Double Naskarm. He's probably going um, either Sludge Wave or going to Metagross. He's going to go for Poison Jab, so he's physical. He's physical queen. Um, if he is mixed queen. Nido queen, let's see. If you're mixed queen with T-Bolt. Oh yeah, we take. He's minus one. I'm going to set up a spike. I'm going to force the Skarm to start defogging. And if he doesn't want to defog, if he wants to keep my rocks up that badly, I will gladly take chip on Metagross, on Tauros, on this thing, on fucking Allo. I'll kill off PZ. He's going to stay in. What's your plan? What's your plan, friend? He has Thunderbolt, so he's mixed. This shouldn't do a whole lot to me, though. Yeah, it looks about right. If he predicts me and goes for Earthquake here, that was my flying type. Nah. Not worried. Not worried at all. Not worried. Not worried at all. He's gonna withdraw, so I get the free roost off. Nate, back into Noivern. What you gonna do, buddy? You gonna defog? You gonna defog for me? You gonna defog for me, buddy? Get a, get a nice defog off. Do some, do some of that nice defog. Defrog, defrog my side. Um, so I could go into OGs here, or I can go into Clefable. I don't want to keep Skarmin uh, in case he does go for the Flamethrower, or just go for Hurricane. Um, I could go into OGs because OGs is pretty free. Um, so is Clefable though. If I go into Clefable, I kind of just click Shadow Ball. I'm gonna go into Clefable. I'm gonna go back into Clefable. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and play Fable. I have soft foiled if he does something weird or something crazy. If he just defogs, that's cool with me. Flamethrower. Cool. Owie. 179 to 132. Clef. Clef. Uh, 179 to 132. It did 27% from Noivern. Um, so that looks about right for actually offensive Noivern. Noivern doesn't get, like, Sludge Wave, right? Doesn't get, like, Sludge Wave or anything weird like that. Gets Super Fang, gets Toxic, Taunt, annoying shit like that. I'm gonna click Shadow Ball here, expecting either Metagross or just get nice chip on this thing. That'd be a huge hit. He's Z. He's Z Noivern. Fuck, and he kills me here. Yeah, he kills me here. Son of a bitch. I even said Z and didn't even think about it. Fuck! I hate Z moves. Z moves are stupid. Yeah, Clef dies. Fuck, dude! I hate Z moves. Clef, Z moves are actually stupid. Noivern kills Clefable with Z Hurricane. 
Okay. Into OGs. That's dumb. Whatever. I'm just. I'm just. I'm salty. I'm salty because that shouldn't happen. I'm salty. I really want Earthquake, expecting Allo or Metagross, because who stays in? I'm gonna Earthquake. He's gonna withdraw, so I get the Earthquake off. He's gonna go into Allo. He's gonna take Spikes. I get an Earthquake off. Yeet. They did a lot, actually. <laughs> oh, I crit him, that's why I did so much. Scald wish. Dude. <sighs> Should I just get rocks up? I think he's going to wish here. I don't think he's going to scald. I'm going to throw up my rocks. Yeah, he's going to wish here. I'm just going to throw my rocks up. So, more pressure on Noivern. More pressure on the Nita Queen. Stuff like that. He's gonna scald or protect here. So I'm just gonna go into Skarmory. I need to just start whirlwinding. Like honestly, I just need to start going for chip. And hoping Darm can finish up the game. He's gonna scald here. This isn't gonna do anything. We eat. He's gonna get the wish up. How much does our Iron Head do to Noivern? Scar- fucking Skarm. Silver Skarm. Flamethrower. We live one Flamethrower. Iron Head does like zero. Um... 109, do we live a Flamethrower if you throw him into it? He has a 75% chance to Oko us. I think he's gonna go Noivern here expecting I'm gonna whirlwind. I think he's gonna go Noivern expecting. No, he's just gonna fuck. Okay, please don't get whirlwinded into Noivern because that's literally that's probably GG if he gets whirlwinded into Noivern here. Why? Why? The one thing. The one thing. One thing. I didn't want to see. The one thing. Fuck this, dude. Well, that was fun. Great! Great! How the fuck do I switch into this now? Do I go hard darm? <sighs> Son of a fucking... <sighs> That's annoying. That's annoying as shit. I have to go back into Pillow Swine. Fuck off, dude. The one thing. The one thing I didn't want to see. The one thing I didn't want to see. He's gonna flamethrower. Okay, we're gonna eat this. We eat this. No burn. Gets the wish up. Flamethrower, hurricane, defog. I would assume he is either Rooster. He's Rooster Draco's last move. Really want a Toxic here. I'm going to Toxic. It's no drawback. At least I get Chip on this thing if he stays in. Like, I get Toxic Chip over time with this thing. Fuck, I'm in a bad position. The one thing. Everything else was perfectly fine to be in on Skarm. Everything else was perfectly fine. Fucking hell, dude. Like, Tauros would have been annoying. He's gonna withdraw. Into... Brett. Okay. Please get some Toxic off so I can at least start shipping this thing down. Land the Toxic. Perfect. Alright. Um, I need to make some sort of switch here. I need to make some sort of switch here. Because at this point, I'm literally just letting my team data rocks. He might just wish up. How much does Noivern take from a Selgor coming in? 
Zero. Literally zero. And I didn't pack anything to hit it, because I wasn't really thinking about Wyvern. Do I just go back in the Skarm then? And just click Roost? He's gonna click he's gonna click Wish here. I think. He's gonna click Wish here. I'm gonna go into a Selgor. I think he's clicking Wish here. To keep Noivern up, expecting me to go back in a Skarm. This is really annoying. This is really annoying, because I didn't even think about flying Z, but that's any scalds. We eat. He burns us, so that's the Selgor's gone. God fucking damn it, dude. If I had HP Ice, I'd be okay. But I don't, so. That sucks. I bug buzz to get this thing the fuck off. For now, at least. Uh, how do I break Olo? Like, I don't know how I break Olo here. He's gonna withdraw into Noivern. Top him, he's gonna stack PZ. So at least I don't get 6 0 Who gets the kill? Skarm gets, or uh, Bylos 1 gets the kill. Pylos Swine kills Pori Gonzi with Stealth Rock. Um, fucking. The hell? Pori Gonzi dies. Metagross. He's gonna come in and bullet punch me. I click Bug Buzz just to make sure he doesn't do anything silly. Yeah, I'm gonna click Bug Buzz just in case he doesn't click Bullet Punch. Nah, no, he can click Bullet Punch. I had no use in preserving it. Metagross kills a Selgor with Bullet Punch. I'm mad about that Z Hurricane. Purely because I just hate Z for Freezy, but that's more so just me being salty than it is anyone anything else. I know it's a bad thing to complain about, but it's just like I just don't like it. The rule, I personally don't like it. Um, I have to roost here. I create min speed Metagross. I outspeed. He's probably just going for T punch. Back to full. T punch, we eat. That was a crit. How much does the T punch do to me normally? Skarm versus Metagross. Um, I'll say offensive stealth rock because he's not banded with Thunder Punch. Does like 30 ish. I'm gonna throw another spike up. He's gonna T punch. This is going to hurt, but we take it. We don't take it that well. Okay, so now it's the 50 50. Do we roost? Does he go for earthquake expecting a roost or does he click T punch? Does he click Earthquake or does he click T-Punch? I think he clicks Earthquake if he has it. I'm gonna Whirlwind him. He's gonna withdraw. Into Nate. Okay, sweet. Get 25% chip on this. And then we Whirlwind about again. First my leftovers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, please go into Allo. Please go into Allo. Dear God, please go into Allo. Nope. Man, spikes, rocks, lots of chip, lots and lots of chip. Man, Zwei. More so because I don't have a switch into this because Pilo Swine is taking a lot of damage. Let's see, if I, if I lose Skarm to this, I have to go into Pilo Swine to take one, and then 
I don't even kill with Earthquake, so I have to go into Darm. Force him out, click U-turn. He has to click a fire move to kill him. I really want to go hard Darm, honestly. I really just want to go hard Darm. Um, Tauros. Like, I take nothing for Fire Blast, like Hard Darm, and then I can just click, I can click Fire Punch for free. Because that's free chip on it. I'm, I'm making the read that he goes for Fire Blast here, and I'm going hard into my Darmanitan. Ugh. Fire Blast. And he lands. Hacks. Hacks. He landed. And he crit! Fuck off. Alright, I'm in. Um, I really want to click U-turn here. I'm gonna click U-turn. Expecting all low. Yep. So at least I can get that read, right? Nia Jax. Alright, so that's not... That's fun fact. That's that's not it. <laughs> Cheap. Okay. How do, I, how do I win this? How do I win this? I need to roost up with Skarm. That's, that's number one priority right now. I need to roost up with Skarm. Like, I, I need to roost. He's Rocks, Poison Jab, T-Bolt. There's no way he's not Earthquake. There's no way he's not Earthquake to hit Mach. Earthquake shouldn't be doing a whole lot, depending on his investment. If he Sucker Punch, he's insane. That else won't matter. I roost here. We're not completely out of this. He's going to withdraw again into Nate. We get another 25% chip. I, this is where I wish I wish I was Ice Shard. This is where I wish I was Ice Shard. Keep Skarm up. And keep it alive. Skarm might be able to stall this out. That's that's where we stand at the moment. Is Skarm might be able to just stall. <laughs> that Skarm might be able to do Skarm things. That's that's what we're at right now. Is Skarm might be able to do Skarm things. Dissect John Jr. Um. Tauros is at about... Tauros will be at about 60 after his hazards. This thing is going for either Roost or Flamethrower right now. So I can just go into Pylos Wine. I'm going to go into Pylos Wine. It's free. If he's U-Turn, then... Nice. He's Roosting or Flamethrowering here. Ow. He's going to Flamethrower. Ow. Ow. No burn. Thank you. Alright. Uh, he goes for Hurricane here. If he misses, we're in a beautiful spot. Or he switches into Alo. Which also leads us to a good spot. Kind of. A little bit. Basically, if this thing can never get a wish from Alo, we might be okay. So, Icicle Crashing was a throw there then. Or not going into Skarm was a throw. I think. If he goes for Hurricane here, just picking me off and misses, that'll be that'll change the entire game around because then Noivern won't be an issue. I don't remember how much Allo is at. I don't think it's actually that that low. I think it's at like 80 right now after regen. So then with hazards, he'll be at about half. So actually, Earthquake, this and an Earthquake might kill Allo. He's gonna withdraw. Into Nia Jax, he's gonna sack Nita Queen. Who gets the kill? Skarm gets the kill. Skarmory kills uh, Nito Queen with uh, spikes. Uh, Nito Queen dead. One, two, three. Uh, one, two. Right. Yeah, this is this thing is very high health.
I have to go into... Actually, I can just go quick, I guess. How do I break this thing? Toxic stall with Skarm. Yep, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. Um, If he wishes, I have to Whirlwind so he doesn't get into Noivern. I have to go Skarm again. That's really all I can do at this point. He can't afford to pull the aggressive double in Noivern because he'll be at one switch and left. He's gonna scald, so we're gonna eat this. Now. Okay. He's gonna get some more chip. I'm not afraid to stall this Allo to death. That's where we sit at the moment. Okay. I can either roost here, keep myself healthy, or I can click Whirlwind here as he goes into Noivern on my roost, and I literally pray that he doesn't get sent into Tauros. If he gets sent into Tauros, we're in huge trouble. Does Darn live a rock switch in? I, yeah, I think I do. Darm. 71. Yeah, I live on Rock Legend, so. We're getting to an okay spot. We're getting to an okay place. I roost here. He's going to withdraw. Into Nate. He's going to take another 25. We're going to roost up. Roosty, roosty, roost. One fifty-seven. Do we take the flamethrower from here? Where are we at? One fifty-seven versus Noivern. We live it from here. We live it with enough health to live the bullet punch from Metagross after as well. So I'm an iron head here. I'm an iron head. Yep. There's no way he's not roost on this though. Like there's no way he's not roost. If he clicks hurricane for some reason, that'd be hilarious. If he doubles, that's even better. You can't break Skarm. One does not simply break Skarm. Flamethrower. We live from here. Okay, the Noivern is dead. We live. Ironhead, we kill Noivern. What? What the fuck? Okay, that's... A, what the hell? Wait a minute. What? Wait a minute. What the fuck? That doesn't make sense at all. That makes zero sense. That damage makes zero sense. He was at 30. He's at 15. That damage makes no sense. That damage doesn't make sense. Because if he is max HP fucking bulky Skarm, or fucking Noivern, that hurricane shouldn't have killed Clef. Only max special attack killed Clef. At least from what I'm aware of. Yeah. Max special attack only killed Clef. I don't understand why I did 7 damage with that Iron Head. Why, why did I just do 7 damage with that Iron Head? What the fuck? That's not right. I'm so confused. Uh, Skarm is the win con. Like, we need Skarm to win. I really wish I had Ice Shard on OGs. OGs has to go down, though. OGs has to go down. I need to roost up on Allo. Ugh. Flamethrower. This'll take me out. 
Yep. There it goes. Um. Noivern kills Skarmory with uh, Flamethrower. Fun fact, he didn't kill Skarmory yet. He killed Pillow Swine. I'm so confused about that damage, because that doesn't make sense. I go into Darm, I click Rock Slide, and I hope for a flinch on Allo. <laughs> damage. Actually, maybe I just click Fire Punch, or Flare Blitz. And I say that because this thing dies to rocks. This might come down if he misses a Fire Blast with Tauros. That might be what it comes down to, actually. I'm going to click Fire Punch. It should kill from here. Yeah. Yay. All right, small victories. Small victories. Darmanitan kills Noivern with Fire Punch. Small victories, boys. Small victories. If he scarfed Tauros. If he scarfed Tauros, I swear to God. Please don't be scarfed Tauros. He scarfed Tauros. Yep. God damn it. Ah! I'm so confused, because that Noivern should have been dead. That Noivern should have been D-E-D -E -D dead. Miss Wild Charge. That's... I don't understand, dude. I don't understand. GG to Leo. I'm actually really frustrated at the game, because I played badly, and I lost my Clefrener. I should have scouted, but I totally didn't even think of Z. It just didn't... Whatever. That's a really rough loss. That's a really rough loss. Oh well. GG to Leo. Make sure you guys go check him out if you haven't already. Next week we play Envy, and uh, that's going to be fun. But, uh... Oh well. GG. I'll see you guys next week. Peace out.